Hello my friends, welcome for another edition of the video productions by the Ortelino Company. My name is Dieter, I'm your host for this video and I'm the owner of a little family company located in Bavaria in southern Germany. And my little company, well, we have sold mainly Japanese prints since 2001, I repeat 2001, in online auctions. And currently, currently today is October um, 16th, yeah, 2021. Currently we have the auction number 1702. And in this auction we have a few beautiful art prints by contemporary artists. And some of these contemporary artists they uh, consign their works directly to us. That means we work with them directly because Ortelino doesn't buy prints. Uh, everything that we offer to you in our uh, online auctions, this is consigned, but the majority by collectors and dealers, uh, but also by uh, contemporary artists. And I want to increase the, the, the part consigned by, um, directly by, by contemporary artists considerably in the future. It's a fun to work with artists. But okay, uh, I'm deviating from the subject. Now I promised to introduce to you these, uh, a few selected prints, contemporary prints uh, in the current auction. Well, the first one is by Katsuyuki Nishijima. Katsuyuki Nishijima is a very successful woodblock printmaker. And in a certain way, he works a little bit in the tradition of the old masters from the 19th century. Well, first of all, it's the same technique, woodblock prints, and he also uses these so-called key lines. There, look, look at this fruit, yeah? These um, small black borders. He uses them here a little bit um, fatter. And Katsuyuki Nishijima he shows the old traditional Japan a little bit in stereotypes, uh, beautiful images, and he know what, you will never see any human beings in his prints. And he once was asked, Katsuyuki Nishijima, why don't you show persons in, in your prints? And he had the following answer. I have to read that now. If a person is in the picture, the person's time dictates the picture. So interesting. I could tell you now a lot more about Katsuyuki Nishijima and his art, but I want to show you more um, prints by different artists. So let's switch to the next one. This is by Koichi Maeda. Koichi Maeda is a master of traditional Japanese woodblock printmaking, today also called Mokuhanga. And well, this shows an old storage house. Also, Koichi Maeda, he concentrates on beautiful images of Japan. Um, it's a little bit, I often call it Disneyland Japan, yeah. But um, why not? Why not? And uh, one more word about Koichi Maeda. He is one of the very few of living artists who have a very high standard of craftsmanship. Today, there are hundreds of thousands of, of printmakers worldwide who work uh, in the technique of woodblock prints, but most of them are far, far away of the technical standard of the artists um, or the printmakers of the 19th century. Koichi Maeda is one of the very few ones. And this is now, um, yeah, this is one of the artists of my heart. A young emerging artist, Cameron Bailey, we found him two, three months ago, and now we cooperate with him directly. And this is, um, he works in woodblock print technique, reduction woodblock print. And this design has the title, The Coming Storm. It's from this year, 2021. It's nearly abstract, but it actually shows the development of a hefty storm. Um, 
uh, against the scenery of a wildfire. Well, this here in, in the lower area um, shows um, outbreaking um, or, or wildfires that got out of control. And the artist, together with his wife, they actually experienced that when they were on a hiking tour. So uh, Cameron Bailey, pay attention to him. He's still very cheap. So far he has produced two dozens, three dozens woodblock prints, um, not more, but outstanding, outstanding. Don't neglect this artist, please. Next one, another one, similar, um, but not immersion, established artist, uh, Cam uh, not Cameron, Stephen McMillan, Stephen McMillan, wonderful guy, um, passionate hiker from the state of Washington and a passionate printmaker, and he works uh, with etchings, especially with aqua tint uh, technique. And you may think this is a, a photograph. It's not. It's all handmade. However, the basis of photographs which Steve takes during his hikes, and this is called lily pads. Um, it's from a hike, where was that? Um, around Lake Terrell. Uh, I think it's in the state of Washington. Next one, we are losing time, my friends. Yuji Hiratsuka. Yuji Hiratsuka, born in Japan, uh, works today as a professor um, at Oregon State University in Portland. And um, he is an artist well established with a very high reputation. Uh, and his art is unique. Um, nobody else uses a style like that. And um, the technique is shin collet etching with shin um, collet. I personally like him very much and I recently said a word, um, I said, Yuji's art is more for intelligent people. I should rather have said intellectual people. Why? Uh, Yuji uses um, a kind of art language that it, it's not so easily uh, accessible. And his titles, they are usually witty, funny, uh, but you have to think about it. And this has the title, No But Yes. Okay, make your own interpretation. Next one, my friends. And now this is an excellent printmaker, roughly my age. Uh, Osamu Sugiyama, born 1946. And he is, first of all, uh, he, learned printmaking from Toshi Yoshida, the famous Shinanga artist. And like, the, uh, like Toshi Yoshida and also his father, Hiroshi Yoshida, also Osamu Sugiyama likes to go into the mountains. He's very passionate. He was in the Himalayas, in Nepal, in, in uh, Southern America, in the European Alps, and of course in the Japanese mountains. And there, uh, he takes sketches or photographs and makes woodblock prints, all handmade, 100% handmade, and also on a very high level. This one shows Zermatt in Switzerland, and another one. This is now from Japan, and there in the background you see Mount Fuji. Um, Osamu has made a, a series of 10 prints, but I think this is not from this series. Um, Mount Fuji. Lovely. He's, by the way, one of the best-selling contemporary artists in our auctions. And we've worked with him directly at least for 15 years. And I think during that time I've, we've sold close to a thousand prints uh, by Osamu Sugiyama. Another one, a little bit comparable uh, regarding age and the technique. Uh, Ryuza Okamoto, and like Osamu Sugiyama, also Ryuza Okamoto, learned printmaking from Toshi Yoshida. When Toshi Yoshida became uh, ill towards the late years of his life, uh, he even took over the lectures at um, 
a, a university in in Japan for for Toshi Yoshida, and he was a kind of an assistant for for him. Um, certainly, one of the best students of Toshi Yoshida, Ryuzo Okamoto makes wonderful um, prints on a high on a high craftsman um, level, and this shows a, a young woman. Uh, Ryuzo Okamoto worked um, during his lifetime as an English teacher, by the way. Few of the artists can um, make a full-time living uh, from, from their artworks. Uh, uh, that has always been like that, even for the Shinhanga artists and the Susako Hanga artists. Uh, Ryuzo Okamoto also works with us for 15 years and is the other bestseller in our auctions. Uh, these spots, by the way, they uh, indicate fireflies. And it has a beautiful title, merely poetic, Born Again as a Firefly. But uh, this is going to be a long video if I don't hurry up. Next artist, Hideo Kato. Um, from Kyoto. Hideo Kato had learned um, printmaking from his father Yuichiro Kato and together they worked so roughly in the same style and the same technique which is silk screen. And this does look like um, a photograph and the basis is also a photograph that afterwards um, Hideaki Kato um, processes, transforms it a little bit. You see it, there's a, a second one. Yeah, here, here you see it a little bit more distinctively um, how he went away from the, from the pure photograph. This is a scene from a, a no play and this shows um, Takugi no, uh, a demon. What else do we have? Yeah, okay. This is now Daniel Kelly. Born 1947, born the same year as me and Daniel Kelly, internationally renowned artist. These prints, my friends, they are in all renowned museums worldwide. And Daniel Kelly, works in different techniques but mostly in woodblock uh, in woodblock printing technique and he combines that sometimes a little bit so it's difficult to to describe daniel kelly uh, he has his own word um, he calls it innovative uh, ukiyo-e ukiyo is, is another word for traditional japanese printmaker Daniel Kelly, by the way, lives in Kyoto. He came there in the 1970 and learned uh, printmaking first by, from Tokoriki Tomi Kichiro. And his prints are not cheap, by the way. Yeah, But um, he's one of the best contemporary printmakers with Japanese style, let's put it that way, of our time. The next one is another example by Daniel Kelly. And this is more mixed media than woodblock, definitely. Yeah? There's a lot of lithograph in it. Shows a Japanese girl with tattoos. Um, and the title, funny, wink, tattooed girl. Daniel Kelly is, by the way, a quite a humorous um, man. So we are coming to the end. Um, do I have one more? Yeah! <laughs> well, um, a Japanese printmaker, Kunio Kaneko, and this is pure woodblock print technique. Um, also, Kunio Kaneko, on a high level of craftsmanship, usually a little bit smaller sizes, but not only. This is among his smaller works, and it's from a series of fish. Fish is something popular um, 
in, in Japan, not only for eating, but also for artworks. And the title, Little, Little, what is that? Little Comet, Red and White Goldfish. Oh, I can see only, are these two? Yeah, okay. Okay, Red and White Goldfish, Kunio Kaneko. Um, Kunio Kaneko is presented in our auctions for many, many, many years, but he is not among those with whom we cooperate directly. Nevertheless, um, I would be pleased if all these prints are sold out, sold out, the auction will end tomorrow, and I think with the exception of one or two, they are already sold, but you can count a bit in these auctions, yeah? And the auction will end tomorrow, uh, Sunday, October 17th at eight o'clock, and please support our artists, um, support contemporary artists, and uh, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience and have a good time. Goodbye.